Hey everybody, um, I wanted to make a quick video here talking about stuff that um, is talked about a lot in the comic book community and that is basically how to start reading comic books and how to start collecting comic books. Um, the reading the comic books part is talked about a lot um, but I haven't really found a whole lot of collecting videos out there so um, this won't be a very long video, maybe a few minutes long. Uh, but this is basically just how to collect and how to start reading comic books. So first we'll start with reading comic books. Um, <clears throat> you know, I think the, the real answer is basically, you know, you're thinking too much into it. I think the, basically the best way to start reading comic books is just to dive right in. <sighs> um, there are a lot of titles out there, are a lot of ti different titles with your favorite characters. You know, there's if you want Spider-Man, there's Amazing Spider-Man right now. There's not Web of or anything else, but there's like Ultimate Spider-Man. I think that's it, actually. Spider-Gwen, if you want a female uh, spin on the spider character. Uh, if you want Superman, you have Superman, you have Action Comics, Adventures of Superman. If you want Batman, you have a lot of books. You have Batman, The Dark Knight. Or is The Dark Knight get... And did the Dark Knight end? Batman and Robin, or whatever that's going to be. Batman Beyond now just started. Uh, Detective Comics. You have a lot of Batman books. Um, Teen Titans. You only have one book of them, which is good. Uh, and it sucks now anyway, so don't read that. Point is, though, find a character that you want, and then read and then read it, and try it out. And just start with the newest issue. Find a comic book store near you, and then start with the newest issue. Go up and talk to a clerk that works at the comic shop. I guarantee he'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, if not, then your comic book store has a bunch of douchebags working at it, and you probably need to go find another shop. Um, another thing is realize that comic books comic books are not a very cheap hobby. If you want to read a lot of books, um, I got a new issue right here, which will I'll throw I'll have a review up on the channel. It's going to be pretty late though because I haven't got around to reading it, but it's um, it's a new issue. It's part of Secret Wars. It's the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows um, variant. I love this variant. I'll go through a little comic book haul, by the way, at the end of this video that I got. Um, but I mean, that's $3.99. Comic books used to be... Um, I mean, I got some up here for $0.10. Cents. Here's a Silver Age Batman for $0.15. Cents. Um, you know, comic books used to be pretty cheap, 50 cents, you know. Now they're getting up to four to five bucks a comic, and a lot of us read multiple comics once a month, or Amazing Spider-Man comes out twice a month. I really hope they put that back to once a month for funds. That can be 20 bucks a month. That can be pretty expensive. Um, that's why I don't really read a whole lot monthly. Uh, I usually stick to collecting back issues. I read my, like few comics like I don't read like 15 20 comics I just don't a month um, I think I will probably be doing that as this channel progresses and as it grows older and I get more reviews out but I basically review just what I read and I own just what I read I mean you know on my shelf over there all those trades like I don't buy everything you know I only buy like things I know I'm gonna read like Walking Dead or Ultimate Spider-Man or something like that or Batman stuff back issues of Batman that I'm not gonna go buy floppies of so I think you know you just gotta you gotta realize that you're gonna be forking over a little bit of money um, but honestly I think it's worth it because comic book reading um, and comic book collecting is so much fun and you meet so many great people that's the reason why I started this YouTube channel is to meet more people um, but yeah also realize that you have a lot of options you have Nowadays, I mean, for the female crowd, you have so many awesome female heroes. Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Wonder Woman, I mean, Spider Woman, She-Hulk. I mean, the list goes on. There are more characters, too. A-Force was a Secret Wars title that was an all-females Avengers team. Obviously, men, we have a lot of heroes, too. We always have. And I think there's something for everybody. Um, not just heroes. If you want, if you like zombies, you can read The Walking Dead, which I got a poster right there for. Um, you want real life stories they have that uh, comic books are not just heroes there are basically any kind of genre you want you could find in a comic book fairy tales uh disney princess stuff they turned into comic books um just all kinds of stuff oh uh, let's see another point i want to make is 
don't get this kind of ties into just jumping right in don't get so confused by going in and seeing an amazing spider-man number 800 or it, we're not that high up but you know don't be confused with the numbering of comic books Let, let's use the new 52 as an example in the new 52 when the dc rebooted its universe and started a new universe uh we started with issue one that was a four years ago we're all the way up to like 41 on each of our books so batman's on issue 41 superman's on issue 41 do not stress about that you don't have to go back and read all 41 or 40 issues to get the whole story each book usually contains a story arc and you will get caught up if you start with issue 41 you by issue 50 you'll understand everything and you'll be all caught up there's nothing to worry about you know it's not like i jumped on i jumped on amazing spider-man in the hundreds you know it's not like i went back and bought 200 comic books to try to catch up new writers come on new creative teams come on new artists and they will change the book to their liking and you will catch up so don't worry about that so i think that's all really i have to talk about is terms of reading um oh another thing Honestly, if you find it with all these superhero movies coming out and shows, if you like a hero in a show or a movie, you're more than likely going to like them in a book. If you love Captain America, you should probably go pick up his book. Or if you love Thor, well, Thor's a woman now, but you should pick up that book. It's great. Um, you know, Superman, if you loved Man of Steel, you're not going to get the same Superman in the comic books, but, you know, you're going to like Superman. Um, same with the Batman movie, you know, if you if you love Wonder Woman and these new movies You need to go read Wonder Woman because she's probably the right one for you. So I'd say use these movies and shows as a template So I think that's it in terms of reading. Let's talk about collecting collecting comic books in terms of older stuff is um, There's some few there are a few things that uh, I think are pretty important you need to Make sure, this is for reading monthly books too, but you need to make sure that you're putting them in these bags and boards. This is just a regular cheap bag and board. Um, the board's acid free. I always use acid free boards, um, but the bag is just a regular bag. Now, for collecting older issues of stuff, like my Superman 124 over here, I bag older issues and key issues in Mylar. It's this see it's really shiny it's kind of dull that's like glass looking almost these bags are amazing I just use the same I just use the same boards you know you're not gonna worry I use these right here these are my lights too protective sleeves you know protects you from all of that stuff um, you know, it keeps your books, it, does, it keeps them from getting moldy, it, keep, it protects them from UV lighting. Um, so if you want to frame comic books and you have some natural lighting coming in your room, then it's going to help prevent the color from fading. Like I have some comic books framed right there. Um, just some of, some of my favorite issues along with some original Marvel art. Some of my favorite issues are in Mylar and then framed. Just so I don't have to worry about um, the sun and them fading. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, backing boards. And what you need to do is, I probably don't need to explain, oh, and some tape. Tape your books. I actually recommend folding the tape. That way you can pop it off really easy. And you literally just slide the bag, or the board in the comic book in. And then just tape it shut. And like I said, I fold the tip of it because if you don't do that, um, once you take the, the, the tape off, it can damage the bag and rip up the bag, and it just looks tacky and nasty. Um, so, yeah. Um, another thing about comic book collecting is you probably should pick characters that you love. Um, I know a lot of people just go and collect key issues. That's cool, too, if it's something you're into. But I'm trying to get like all the Amazing Spider-Mans. Every issue of Amazing Spider-Man, I'm trying to pick up. I'm trying to pick up some web of and spectacular. I'm trying to get a lot of Superman. Not necessarily all of them, um, but I'm trying to get a lot of Superman. I'm trying to complete the New Teen Titans comic book, which I'm almost done actually. I only have a few issues of that. I'm trying to collect all the Batmans. Um, but I do have this Detective Comics because my girlfriend's family got me this. Um, 
I just think that's so cool. So I might pick up some detective or some older action comics if I get my hands on them. I'm not really hunting for them, per se. Um, but yeah, so just bag them. Bag old issues or issues that you really love in Mylar. I wouldn't bag any of your new stuff in Mylar. Honestly, the regular bag is going to last you for years. Um, it's just a good idea to every, like, I'm going to say five years. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Go through your books and make sure that they're not bleeding or replace the bags in all your books. So that's why I bag all my Amazing Spider-Man in the Mylar. Um, and, but I only bag like certain issues, like this Batman uh, 220. Not really a key, but it's, you know, it's Silver Age, baby. And it is old and it is in good freaking condition. Um, besides that little thing up there. So yeah, that's it. Uh, my little haul that I got, didn't get much. You saw one of them in the, in the video. My Secret Wars, Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows, which I'm going to rebag in the Mylar. Um, I haven't even read this yet, so yeah. And then I picked up a Batman. Just like I said, nothing big. 338. Super nice cover. Got it for real cheap. You know, um, I love this version of Batman. I love the blue cow and the blue boots and stuff. I don't know why. Fighting a goofy goofy villain but you know uh, it's a super cool it's a super cool book it'll I'll, I'll slide it in the uh, Batman box here soon so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I'm about 11 minutes and 35 seconds in so this is a little longer than I thought but I don't think I have anything else coming out expect Secret Wars 3 and Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows I've just been so busy I have you know taken summer classes and work and everything's just been hectic here so but expect those reviews up soon. Uh, if I run out of time, I might not do them, but I'll replace them with another video. Or I'll, I'll include my review of these and my Secret Wars number four review. So, we'll see. But anyway, this is Tyler, and I'm saying peace.